This is Code.org. I'm working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 9, Permanent Data Storage, Puzzle 3. Data Viewer. Where did that data go? App Lab's database is remote, which means the data is stored separately from the app code on a server. A common, a common term for this is cloud storage. To see the data, you have uh, you have to use the data viewer. You may have noticed the button, a button right above the app display that looks like the this. Yes, I see that um, up over here. Click click data to see all the tables in your database. We'll explain a table later. You should see one table called my tables. Notice that the ID number was automatically generated for every row. My table. Okay. Oh, okay. It is. Uh, do this. In your code, change. Does it run? Ah. Got to click on the table. Got it. Okay, so I hit run twice. Click my table to see all the data. Notice the ID number was automatic. Yep, got that. Now, in the code, change Alice to a different name in the call to return to create a record. In the, okay, different name. Well, I'll change it to my name. Uh, if you're my student, it's Kaiser, Mr. Kaiser, but Kurt will do. Run the app a few times, repeatedly clicking Rust Reset. One, two, three. Check the data viewer. Make sure it worked. So each time we're doing that, it must be saving. Oh, yeah. No, if you already had data viewer open, you will need to refresh the page to see the changes. Cool. So that's where we're going to access the data. So we have design, data, and the code, of course. Awesome. I can't wait to see what we're going to be doing with this. Let's uh, keep going.